Where well, everybody, it's your boy Goosebumps Jen here, slash, uh, Good Joshua Osaki, back with another video, you know it guys. Uh, change of scenery, my cat was bothering me in my other room so I couldn't film. Uh, he can get really clingy, but, uh, that's about it. So let's get into this video. So today, I was going to be, I'm talking about two videos, I'm doing three, two or three videos, I think I'm doing two videos today. Both of them are reviews, one's for a movie and one's for a TV show. Okay, so I'm planning to do, I'm going to do the TV show first, because that's going to be probably be my shortest vid, and the movie's going to be a little bit longer. Okay, so for me, this TV show is a big part of my, like, teenage years. Uh, I started watching this show, uh, was it 2015, 2012, 2014? Um, the show, what was it, no, it's like... 2011 to something. It was 2012 or something like that. I don't know. It was one of those dates. It was very early though. It was been 13 or 14. It was the show called it's the show of the Disney American called Monsters and Mystery is in America. What's about was so it was different people and each like had a different theme of the episode. It was a narrator and a person who let's say had a, he had um, experience with a monster. Let's say a were like the were a were off the Beast of Bray Road or like Black Eyed Children or a Thunderbird. Each episode would be different, and they would pander like they would tell you the monster before either like, every, every episode, and they would go through all the states. Like it was like every single state. They almost went through every state, I believe. I'm not sure if they went to Hawaii, but I do know they've gone through, went to Washington, to Seattle, to a bunch of other places. It was an amazing show. So on Destination America, that was a motorcycle just driving by. Um. Uh, there was a destination. It was in Destination America, which is in Florida. Is channel one, channel one hundred and thirteen. I don't know what channel that would that would be in other states. I just know in Florida that's channel one thirteen. If you have Comcast cable, I'm not sure if you have Direct TV. What channel that would be? I'm not even sure if you have if you have Direct TV. Direct TV, you can get you can watch it. But I can tell you this: if you have on demand Comcast. You can watch seasons, part of season one. I mean, that, I think they have like six or seven episodes. Each episode is maybe about like an, like forty-five minutes to an hour. I, I think you can fast forward in Destination America on a Comcast. Don't quote me on that. I haven't watched the series in a while, but I believe you can. I'm not sure if you want to fast forward the commercials. Um, that they have. And you can watch all of season three. They've only had they only had three seasons. There was one season one, season two, and season three. And of all this, I'm not gonna lie, it was an amazing show. I loved it. Me and my dad, my mom would sit down and watch every new episode, like every every week. It was a great show. Um, one of my favorite episodes. What was it called? It was talking about the zombie incidents in Florida. Um. That was a good episode. There was another episode that was about, um, what's it called? They had alien episodes. That was a pretty good one. Oh, yeah, it's it just a bunch of shit. Like, there was this one talking about, like, in 1990-something, there was this gelatin or, like, gel-like rain that fell in, like, um, I think it was Washington State. Not, like, the Washington, D.C., but Washington State. And, like, it, like, made people sick and killed pets. Like, legit, it was, like, gelat like a gelatin-like substance, and it rained one, came down from rain, and made people sick and killed pets. They don't know what was the, the actual composition, but, they, like, the CDC were there. It was an amazing story. Um, there was an, another good episode was about, uh, fuck. The Vermont Pigman. Um, and by the way, if any of you watch Swamp Dweller, that's what I was talking about. Oh, that's what he was. They were talking about. I was like, in Vermont, there is a Pigman for some reason. I don't know why. So they don't really give you like in the story. They kind of give you in the episode. They kind of give you like I guess two possibilities of why there could be a Pigman, or two th theories or scenarios that it could be a Pigman. I think one of them was it was a deformed person, 
and like they just became like you know went away into the forest and like became more animal like and then the second one just made no sense to me I don't remember what it was I think it was they said the guy fucks pigs and that's what happened or something like that I don't know I don't fucking know that was just like weird uh, they had another one called about the Rebobs, which are like these flying ass monkeys. They live in this California area, place in California near these like wine fields or this grape field for when they make wine. And like, they're flying ass monkeys with red fucking eyes, and they're fucking terror, legit terrifying. The legit, there's like a whole legend about them that in, in this town area, no one fucking goes to this place, this area at fucking night. It's just no one goes there. It's a really good show, guys. Like, legit, if you want to know more about, like, monsters or, like, not monsters, more like cryptids in your, in your world, in your, in your, um, in the United States, you go to this show. But I learned some cryptids that I didn't even fucking knew existed. Legit did not know existed. Like, the pig man, uh, I knew the goat man existed. There is one story about that. There's a couple stories about Bigfoot. I think there's, like, four episodes about Bigfoot or like that or so. Um... There's a legit a, a couple episodes about aliens, which by the way, every episode I had about aliens was probably one of my favorites. Especially for the third season, for the first opening of the season, they had a one hour special about the Men in Black. By far, one of the most unsettling episodes I've ever watched. Legit was one of the greatest episodes I've ever watched of this show. Men in, that, that show, I think it was called the Men in Black special. It was one hour. And I think it's like 43 minutes, and that one because they cut down to the, like from the commercials and shit. But like it was an amazing show. Definitely go check it out, guys. It's one of those amazing shows, Monsters and Mysteries in America. It was, like, it was one of the episodes that really made me like really was really good. I forgot what it's called though. But I think, if I remember correctly, it had um. It talked about I forgot what they talked about it in the show, but it was like that episode I was starting to think about. Oh yeah, the Black Eyed Kids episode. Uh, many of you know I had a Black Eyed Kid experience when I was younger. This episode actually confirmed what I saw when I was 11, okay? And now I'm 22. I, I watched this episode when I was 16 years old, and I was going up for like, it's like five years. I'm not knowing the fuck what you saw when you were 11, so you know, it's a big deal. But great, great episode, great episode. Definitely go, uh, I talked to the guy before, that guy who, um, in the episode, I talked to him, he has a, his own website. Um, where I shared my experience with the Black Eyed Kids and the Paranormal. Um, there isn't a lot of ghost episodes per se. There is, but there isn't. Like, it's hard to explain. There is a ghost episode, but there isn't a ghost episode. If you catch my drift. They did one about, they did a lot of couple, they call Mexican myths, which were pretty interesting. The monsters that were interesting. But one thing is, they never did one about giants. I'm surprised. You know, giants, they, people don't believe giants exist, but you know, whatever. Um, definitely go check that out, guys. The Monsters Machine in America. You can watch half of season one on Disney, on 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 on, uh, on demand, and then the second, then all of season three on think on that. And I think you can record season two when it comes on. Like they do reruns of those episodes, okay? Um, so definitely go check that out, guys. Uh, Monsters Machine in America. Like, comment, subscribe, guys. If you haven't already, if you're not subscribed. And uh, definitely go, definitely share me on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and uh, that's it. See you later, guys.